Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ryan. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So I'm back with another vlog. I'm vlogging today because I'm going to buy a camera. So when I had first started YouTube, y'all, I was like, I wanted to buy a camera. But then when I was looking, I didn't realize how expensive a camera was. Let me just be real. When I first said, you know, I want to do YouTube, I was going to buy a camera before I started. And when I seen those prices, I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy a camera after I've started. So, y'all know I started um, first on my iPhone 13. I got a new phone a couple months ago. Whenever the 14 came out, I got a new phone because I didn't have any storage. So, y'all, I've had this 14. I got a Pro, 14 Pro Max. I've had it for, like, if three months. And I'm already, like, almost out of storage because of how much I've been filming. And even when I film... And I delete my videos, I delete my editing apps and everything, like, right after I'm done. But y'all know, by me doing nails and lashes and stuff every day, I take pictures every day. I take videos every day. So, I'm bound to not have storage, but it's just, like, by taking pictures and stuff for my business and vlogging and doing YouTube all on my phone, it's just not enough storage. It's never going to be enough storage. So, I knew that I was going to make that investment, but I just didn't know when. So, you know, I've been getting my foot in the door, you know, just starting to get more into the whole YouTube thing. And I told myself when I get to 500 subscribers, I will do a Q&A and my first, and I'll buy a camera and my first video on my camera will be my Q&A. So, the time has come. I'm like 10 subscribers away from my 500 mark, but that's okay. And black friday is next week so i was like I, t I told myself like last month when i went to see like what kind of camera i wanted to get i was debating between the um the canon is it the g g7 something and then the sony vlogging camera that everybody was like raving about so i was like i went like a month ago to look at them and see and the guy that worked at best buy he was like you should get the sony because he was like sony's better than canon so i was like but the canon cheaper so i was like hmm but I told myself, you know, I'm going to switch to Black Friday. I'm going to see what kind of deals they have going on. And the Sony is on sale. I didn't see the Canon. I didn't see if the Canon was on sale. But I'm about to go. So I'm going to just kind of like see what's up with the pricing and stuff. But I'm probably going to buy the Sony. Because I just, that's the one I've been doing the most research on, to be honest. So, but I did like do the comparison thing. Like see, um, I compared the Canon G. I forgot what it is. And the Sony ZV, um, I did that one. It, it, it's basically the same thing. Like, it's basically the same thing. It was like a few different things that were different, but not like not enough to be like, oh yeah, like to distinguish one from the other. So, oh yeah, yeah. I got on my grits today from ISIS. <clears throat> today is Friday too, y'all. I forgot to say. So I had class. I went to class. Um, and during my stats class, I was like on best buy website looking and they have two cameras left so i was like today's the day because y'all like i'm like god you don't have to give me no more signs like i'm running out of storage they got two cameras left what else happened over oh, 500 like i'm almost at my 500 mark like i feel like it's time it's time so it's time like i keep telling myself because it's a big purchase you know like it's not too big but it's big enough you know so I keep telling myself, you know, it's time. I told myself around this time. I told myself if I got to this point, like with my subscribers and my views and stuff, then I would do it. So I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Y'all, my eczema. I talk about my eczema in every video, but y'all, the CeraVe and the quarters on 10 has been working wonders. So if you're struggling, y'all, I'm telling you, my last video. I had um I need to go to the diamonds. I had went and to Walgreens and bought those products and it's been definitely helping. So yeah. What else I had wanted to say? I don't know. 
But I'm about to go, y'all. I'm about to go. I got my money and stuff. And I'm about to go. And that's another. Like, I've been putting. I've been. um. I want to do. I want to do like a, a um segment on my channel. Like about just like finances and stuff. Because. My mom is very good with money. My mom taught me. She taught me and is still teaching me. My mom is so good with money, y'all. Like. So good with money. So. The, some of the things that she's teaching, that she taught me, like, when I tell you, I've been using that, like, full force ever since I started my business. When I tell you, like, as far as saving, as far as putting money to the side, as far as, like, setting goals. Like, that's why I said, like, I, I I said I wanted to start YouTube. I saw the price of the camera. So, I positioned myself, like, I gave myself a time frame to be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when you make impulsive purchases like that and they're big, then so, that's why some people, like, they just don't be good with stuff like that. So, ever since I told myself, you know, I set these goals for myself, I've been putting money to the side for my camera. So, now that it's time, it's not like, oh, I'm scrapping or I'm, like, um taking my last to go buy this. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if I being a college student, y'all, make sure you, make sure you, um, managing your money. You know what I mean? For real. But, um... Yeah, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. And I also, like, this not like a, you know how whenever it's time to go buy something and it's a lot of money and it's like you're dreading buying it? Like, I'm not dreading this purchase. That's how I, like, because I really feel like this is going to be like a prosperous investment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm going to, so much is going to come just from this purchase. So, it's not like, I'm like, oh, I'm spending all this on the camera. Like, I'm excited to get, I'm excited to make this purchase. So, that's a good thing. I really feel like that's a good thing because I don't be feeling like that when I spend money for real. Like, unless it's like something like, I don't really. But as far as like, but yeah, so I'm about to go for real, y'all. I'm about to start my car up. It's not that cold no more, so I'm gonna have to warm it up. But when I get to Best Buy, I'll get back on. So it's the Sony and then the G7X, a little cheaper. Yeah, I'm official to be that girl with the camera. So. We got it, y'all. We got it. So it's a Sony. I ended up getting the Sony ZV-1. And I also got the vlogger kit because it was on sale. So it came with the SD card and a tripod. So yeah, I'm just really, really, really excited. I'm so excited. BF for real. BFFR. So everything was on sale, guys. He didn't even ask me if I wanted to get a warranty. They don't have all that on there. I don't know, but I'm gonna unbox it at home. I'm not gonna do it in the car. My not favorite is some food. Because let me tell y'all. So, I told y'all, like, when it gets cold, I don't be playing. Like, once I get in my house, I'm not leaving back out. So, I was hungry, and I didn't really feel like cooking, so I had DoorDash some food from this place out here. It's called Hot Food Express. So, they have, like, it's basically like, um, where I'm from, we call them, like, like, the corner stores, that, like, a blue store or something like that, basically. I don't know if, if they even make sense for y'all. She better not hit my car. Hey. Uh, sorry for your car. I'm not trying to argue on that. Uh, 
uh, it's me and my baby. I'm walking from a church up here called Holy Cross. Uh, 232 Hope and the Sheriff's Department told me to go over there on the city bus to go get some hotel vouchers. Sit down. To go get some hotel vouchers. And I'm walking around asking everybody that stopped hotel room. Okay. I don't really have much cash. There you, you go. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Um, y'all, I feel something here. Anyway. Um. Well, I was going to get home with it, but now I guess, you know what? I'm not going to be great. I'm grateful because... Able, but she have a baby, y'all. She looking for a shelter. She be trying to get in a shelter to pay for her. Oh lord, it is around the holidays. I hate stuff like that. I can't even talk no more, y'all. She um, she's walking around. She said that um, she trying to pay for her hotel room. And I I had cash, but I just gave Best Buy all my cash. All I had was like twelve dollars to give her. For real. Um, I hope so. God, please. And it's cold. She have a little baby. So, but I was telling y'all about DoorDash. Yeah, so Hot Food Express had, I ordered Bang Bang Shrimp Fried Rice. And so, they, um, I ordered it, like, I ordered it correctly, and DoorDash brought it, and I was biting into it. It was a, it was Bang Bang Chicken. So, I was mad because, like, y'all, I really am the type of person, I just, like, I get tired of chicken. Chicken is, like, we eat chicken every, I swear, it's just, like, everybody, like, what you cook? Some chicken. Like, my grandma, what you cook? Chicken. Like, I just, I get tired of chicken. So, like, I'm not buying chicken, for real. Like, I, you may catch me getting some chicken. You barely. Like, you gonna catch me getting chicken, like, if we had McDonald's some chicken nuggets. I don't buy chicken. Like, you know, like if I go out to a restaurant, I'm not buying chicken. I'll I'll buy chicken to cook at home sometimes every now and then, but I'm not buying no chicken in a restaurant. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I called them and I asked, I was like, you know, hey, I had put in an order for um <clears throat> some bang bang shrimp and I'm bang chicken. So she was like, Can you bring the plate back? And my thing is like I wouldn't even ask you that because for one, I adore it, asked you, like what like nine times out of ten, people adore that if they don't have a transportation, or if they don't feel if they're too lazy. And mine was too lazy. I was too lazy to go, so I'm not. That defeats the whole purpose. I'm not bringing it back. Y'all inconveniencing me. I ordered. I put the order in correctly. So she was like, "Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold. Call. Get back on the phone. Talk about some. Hey, one of our workers put it in wrong. You know, whatever like that. But you could take it up. With, you can um do a DoorDash like refund." I had did that already before I called, mind you. So, I had got, like, a credit, like, $10, which ain't nothing because, you know, like, once you buy food on DoorDash and they have all the service fees and stuff, $10 is nothing. So, I let her know, like, you know, I cool, I, like, okay, I will, but, like, it's not DoorDash's fault. If your worker put it in wrong, it's y'all's fault, so y'all need to compensate me. Not DoorDash, really. DoorDash did what they were supposed to do. So she was, she put me on hold again. So then she was like, well, um, she said something else. I'm like, ma'am, y'all can't just remake the food. Like, and I could come like a different day or something. I could get some, y'all could compensate me some other type of way. So finally she was like, well, you're going to have to come on the day that the cook is here. The cook that made the food is here and I'm here. So she did, at this point, I just feel like you just really being difficult. So like, you, so I could just be like, okay, don't worry about it, but I'm not. Wendy's my mother. I'm not gonna just say, oh, don't worry about it. Because that was it's expense. I already paid so much, like I to DoorDash. So she was like, um, I said, well, when do y'all both work together again? She was like, Friday. So I said, like, cool. I'll come Friday. Give me a free plate. I'm gonna be hungry again, sure. So I'm gonna go get that now because it's like two o'clock. And I think I'll do that. I'm gonna go home, make my reel. Well, my TikTok for my unboxing. And I'm going to show y'all too. And then... That's it. I'm going to get my friend nails later on. Around like 5. And I had an appointment today, but she didn't confirm. So, you know, like, I give you a 10-hour time frame to confirm. If you don't confirm, 
then it's canceled. So she canceled. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the camera again because I'm excited. Period. Sony. Y'all, so I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get that for dinner. So I'm at the jerk stop right now. I'm getting some oxtails and some cabbage and stuff. That's what I'm gonna eat for lunch. And I'm gonna just go get the free food for dinner so I can feel better about myself. <laughs> I'm not spending no more money for today. So I just called it in. They told me it'd be ready in 10 minutes. So I'm just chilling my car and then I'm going home for real. So, yeah. You see, y'all, uh, this is the kind of stuff my mama used to fuss at. And like, she used to threaten to whoop me about. Like, I would literally leave a purse or something on the seat with no tent and for somebody to bust my windows up. For real. Y'all don't mind my car. <laughs> y'all, in the middle of traffic, like they have somebody's jeep it's running and the hazard lights are on but nobody's in it so it's like traffic is backed up because people are like blowing at them but the hazard lights are on so like i would go around but nobody's in the car like nobody's in the vehicle at all so you just left your car like people are crazy it's really true, true, true. bro these look so cute and clean all right y'all so it's how long y'all why she always do that? <laughs> it's hours later. My friend harassed me to do her nails tonight. So I did. I didn't harass her. And now I'm about Why to do- Why you camera looking like this? <laughs> now I'm about to do um, my so camera unboxing. My camera unboxing. So, <laughs> yeah. And Caitlin wants to be in it, so. I'm about to do this. Yeah. Pita here. Girl. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. It's on top. So you gonna be walking around? Yeah. You gonna be like, oh, this girl got a camera now. Girl, you too fancy. They gonna be like, oh, this the girl with the camera. Yeah. Yeah. You go. You you could record me now on the camera. Yeah. I gotta see what kind. Of, I gotta go on YouTube and look up the vlog um, settings. Y'all, this weather got me kind of feeling a little stuff. I take allergy pills That's every so day now. Yeah. Every day, and I feel so much better. Alright, y'all. So all cool instructions. I know what that green thing is. What? The green thing. Look. Right there. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cute. Did you stop making the floor? I didn't, Caitlin. I'm going to do it for real. I didn't. Alright, y'all. <laughs> Yo, I've been with Hosmaker. Oh, this is the mic. It's a little softball. Oh, friend, I put it in there on accident. It's okay. It's a little mic. It's a microphone. Girl, how is that? That's furry. <laughs> what? Damn. Oh, you didn't have to make no fur microphone. It's a charger. Thing. Oh, yeah. It's on the, on the little pictures, is it? Not get anything. Don't Why you didn't get like a color one? Let me tell you what happened to me when I was at Best Buy, and I feel so shame too. So I was in the car vlogging, y'all. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know, like, a flip, like a little flip phone. You flip it out. Oh, how you put that back? Okay. It's not a weird thing. Oh, let's see if it come on. Is it dead? It must be dead. Girl. A white refrigerator? I guess. Is it dead? Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to see how it charges. AC. I don't know how it works. None of this. Either that's crazy. Like, you gotta have batteries and SD card, shower. Look. I don't know what I'm looking for. We gonna charge this even come on later. It better not be broke. I was shaking it around. See, I need to read the instructions. But friend, so I was in a bus by a parking lot, and this lady came up on my car real fast with a, a stroller, like fast. You know what? A stroller. A baby stroller? Yes, and she had a baby on.
Oh, that's a family pack down there. Let me go as far as it is. Um, Isn't it the heat up? Yeah, y'all look good. Oh. Surprisingly, I'm not high yet. Okay, I guess I gotta. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna take me a long time to know how to do it. Alright, this is gonna. It's gonna be complicated. Alright, no. Let me try to charge it. But anyway, so. The lady walked up on, like, she was like, coming fast. I was vlogging. So I was recording. I was like, this lady better not hit my car in this dirty stroll. Like, right? right? So then she pulled up to my window. I ain't tell you this either. So she pulled up to my window and I rolled it down and she was like, I've been staying at the, um, at, in a motel off university and the, and the shelters out here are all full. And I don't know if she was lying or what, but I just gave her some money because she had that baby in the cold with no jacket on and she had some flip flops. <laughs> Girl, what? Man, who? I don't know. You yeah, she wasn't old. How old she was when she was? They had a whole family on, on in Bassett. She looked like she was about 30. She, she had a low haircut. They had a family on the Bassett the other day. I passed yeah, her. Yeah, she was just walking through the house. She was just walking through the Best Buy parking lot. I'm not trying to harm you or nothing. She was like, but, you know, she said um, the police had told me to rock a city bus to some church, but they would say they was out of funding. And so she was like, I'm just trying to get sixty dollars for a room. So she had twelve dollars. Somebody she said one of the best dollars was only gave her five dollars and laughed at her. And then I was like, Well, I ain't got that much cash. So I just get I had like twelve dollars I gave her. And then she went to the car next to me. She was like, I raised like twenty seven dollars. But I really believed it because she the baby had like summer clothes on. She had on flip flops, no jacket, it was cold. Like She's like, you can, she said, you can see my ID and you can call up there if you want to, you know, and check. So I was like, I ain't doing all that, you know. Yeah, was, Chandler, you ain't had to say ahead of me. Nah, you ain't had to say ahead of me. I'm coming back. You know what I'm talking about. Sure, only five degrees outside. Oh, do we not have a battery in it? Girl, ain't no battery in here. What kind of battery do you need? I know it did not come with a battery. What the fuck? Wait, what is that? <laughs> Let me see. Ain't nothing in the bottom of it. I'm staying trying to press something. What about? This it, it, I know damn. It didn't come with no battery. Uh, and all this came with was an SD card. <sighs> oh, you better not laugh.
I don't know what what money. Do you think I should get do you think I deserve some milk? <laughs> Hey, y'all, you trying to get daiquiris. It's copyrighted. Show your nails. I got, um, y'all, look at my nails. Y'all, you get her nails. I'm about to go do Snicky's nails. Y'all, let me show y'all off both hands. Y'all remember so. it from Crumble Review? Hold on, y'all. Crumble Review coming soon. Period. Okay. It's what, what time is I it? I got, um, Fruit Loop mixed it's with, uh, House Special. Y'all should try it. y'all. 10 and 50. We don't. I don't know how old my followers are, my subscribers, but if I don't have to be to work till 11. So when they want, then I'll be drinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, y'all. Snooky's nails. Get them in the light. Get them in the light. Get them in the light. Yeah. But I got. I took a video to post in there. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna take a good shower and get in bed. No, I got clients tomorrow, but I'm not vlogging tomorrow, y'all. So yeah. I probably close it out in the morning. Who? Hey, you guys. What actually is um the morning time? So good morning. It's raining outside, but it's the next day. Y'all don't mind my face. Y'all know I got moisturized. It's the next day. I just wanted to get on here and close out the video because y'all snook and Kayla did leave my house till about four o'clock. I got in the shower, got in the bed. It was like five. I have clients today for 12, so it's like 11.40 right now. So I was just tired. We were just really, I finished their nails around like, well, I finished Snook's nails at like one, but we were literally just in my living room talking and venting for hours. And like door dashing at two o'clock in the morning, like... <laughs> It was crazy, so I was up late with them, doing nails late and stuff. But I just want to close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. The next video will most likely be the Q&A because I will be at the 500 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much for supporting already. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Send this channel to everybody. Tell everybody to subscribe, y'all. The next milestone is 1,000, of course. So I'll see you guys in the next video.